Hi, my name is Eve Biddle. I'm Marianne Unger's daughter. And um, the piece across the Bering Strait at the Williams College Museum of Art that's installed, as mentioned earlier, in its entirety for the first time since 1994 in this exhibition, when it was first installed, had very dramatic lighting and music. So in the 90s, it was this pretty radical to be doing a kind of interdisciplinary installation in this way. And the music that Marianne put with this was a kind of cultural mashup with very little context. Uh, I think that it's fair to say that she felt emotionally connected to this music and perhaps even bloodline connected in a conceptual way. Um, and in the contemporary context of 2022 is a kind of classic cultural appropriation moment. Um, as we've talked about that music and that context, we've thought a lot about the idea of migration and how music comes into our own migrations. What do you play on a road trip? What reminds you of home? What helps with a transition, emotionally, physically, of place? And for me, at least, it's totally cross-cultural. I feel no obligation to listen to music made by white American women with you know, Eastern European and you know, English roots. But I'm not making money off of those. Not that mom was making any money either, but uh, there's no context around that of, of money making. So it was, this, it was an interesting moment. And Allison and I had been speaking for a number of years, maybe six or seven years, when we first started working with Alexandra Schwartz, who curated a piece of Across the Bering Straits, a, a selection of that piece into the loft estate space maybe five years ago now, we talked about commissioning new music in response to this piece. And um, I was very happy and felt very blessed to be connected to Diego Mung, who's gonna be presenting a piece in response to Across the Bering Strait and the theme of migration today. And Diego is the son of a good friend of mine, Gina Coleman, who I met here at Williams. She was my rugby coach and has become a friend, you know, was a friend then and, and has stayed a friend. And um, I feel very um, moved that that connection to finally make that idea happen came through really extended and then again extended family to family to family. Um, and I'm really grateful to Diego for being responsive and open to this idea. So Diego shared with me that when he visited across the Bering Strait at, at Wickma, that the themes of migration and the forms of uh, their sort of ambiguity of caring or maybe bringing soldiers home from war or lifting up bodies, that that, that was something that was moving to him. and. He also shared that he spent time making sound in the room with the piece and listening to how sound decayed, was amplified, bounced, and interacted with the piece. So what we're gonna hear today, which I'm so excited about, is gonna be in response to both the piece, the concept of migration, Diego's own experience of influence of multicultural music in his life, specifically uh, music from Zimbabwe and 1950s jazz, as well as mimicking, remembering, responding to the experience of making sound. And given that we were in this fabulous space with some wonderful technology available to us and working with Daniel and Nate here at the theater, thank you, Diego and I looked at um, a video documentation of the original show from 1994 that does have the music with it. We're not gonna hear the music today. We're gonna see that visual 
and it is as high quality as you can imagine a video from 1994 being, <laughs> so it's, we're gonna get what we're gonna get, and uh, Diego will also be in response to that. So, Diego Mung.
more, so much more than I could have imagined. Thank you.